All right, let's dig in for the night. We are here, we got two hours, so we can uh, get a lot accomplished, I think. We are we are well on our way to being done in plenty of time, so this will be good, this is good. Um, let me start with prayer. Heavenly Father, we come before you tonight and we thank you for giving us another opportunity to, um, to come and sit at, at, uh, at your word, and so we ask that you would Work tonight through your spirit and through your word. Sanctify us, God. Change how we think. Uh, make us sharper in our thinking. Make us clearer in our thinking so that we can be useful to you. Keep us from pride tonight, God. And for those who can't make it tonight, we ask for your blessing to be over them. We pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, any questions? It's kind of my go-to opening line. Any questions about or anything in the past? Things that don't make sense? Once? Twice? All right, so let's talk about emotions. <laughs> um, and this, I, I do want you to wrestle with this question in groups for a little bit, because we don't really find the word emotion uh, in the Bible, um, but that doesn't mean they're not there. I think emotions are all over the place in the Scripture, and they're a massive part of our lives. So... Um, this is kind of an introductory question. ACBC is wondering, what are you going to do with these things called emotions? Because the next few questions that we're going to tackle, anger, depression, and fear, worry, and anxiety, are all emotions, right? Um, and so they want to, this is kind of the foundation question that's going to lead into the next three questions. So uh, I want you to work at your tables and so try, and, try and do this here. Provide a biblical theology of emotions. All right, now don't, don't get thrown off by that. Uh, just basically, what's the Bible have to say about emotions? All right, that's what they're, they're looking for. What role should a counselor allow the counselee's emotions to play in counseling? All right, and please don't say none. <laughs> um, right, uh, don't, don't say uh, they shouldn't play a role at all in counseling. They, they should. So, uh, And then how can one tell the difference between sinful emotions and righteous emotions? And how would you use scripture to help a counselee change improper emotions? All right, so uh, go ahead and, and hop into tables, groups of three or more, and kind of bounce ideas off each other. Go to scripture, and, and then in about 10, 15 minutes, depending on how long the conversations are going, I'll pull it back up here, okay? And go. Thank you. 